frustrating. Like the house is a mess, you know, because my wife and I, we, we did the uh, strength finders. Yeah. And the 35th strength of mine is like discipline. And her 34th <laughs> is discipline. Like we're just not disciplined yeah. people. We've got lots of great things about us, but like those aren't, yeah. aren't them. And so just, yeah, just, I don't know. You kind of, I think, go into marriage. You both have expectations of how things are going to look. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like oh, yeah. in small things, like who's how the kitchen's going to look. Who's do we make the bed every day? You know, all these sorts of things. And sure. I and I, I just found myself frustrated. Um, and I don't know if I knew how to communicate that frustration well. Yeah. Did you ever experience that? Your wife yeah. seems like a very tidy person. She is. She is. We're both sort of like that. And and I can be like you're talking about with my kids sometimes. Is like there's fingerprints on the wall and stop touching the wall when you yeah. come down the stairs. And, yeah. And then I'm like. You haven't even said hello to them. You just came yeah. and started like talking about fingerprints. It's on the it's wall so true. Like you stress out about these things. And you think you know, like that could be fixed at any point with three hundred dollars worth of pa- paint right. or whatever. Less. It really you know. gets down to what if somebody comes over here and they think we have a bad house because there's fingerprints on the wall. And who cares? Right? Yeah. This is where I live. Like it's, it's kind of irrational. Yeah. Like and, and, and that's why I think therapy helps because like what you're angry about isn't what you're angry about. Sure. Kind of like what you were saying. Yeah. Well, that's. I mean, you know that well. You've been talking about porn for years and. You know, that's what guys will talk about that in our men's group, for instance, and say, well, I'm embarrassed and tired of going to confession and saying the same thing and I'm not getting over it. And I think that's one thing we don't realize is like, it, you're, it's not a magic button where you go in there. It's not a car wash where you just get clean all of a sudden and yeah. you're perfect. It's it's really, if you have a good confessor and, and you're working, like people say priests don't remember confessions. I kind of hope mine does. Mm. So that the next time I come in there, he's like, I know what he's struggling with. I know where we were last time. And let's, you know, let's talk through it again where he is now to the point of, you know, things like in Dr. Bob's book is getting to the root of that. Like, cause we're, we're we're confessing the symptom, not the real pain. And I think that's where a lot of people miss on confession. And I did for a very long time is I'm going 